<laughs> very busy week. You know, we're starting the half hour here with some interesting news. Yeah. So folks might be perking up to listen to what we have to say here. A massive tennis complex, an international tennis tournament could be coming to Charlotte. Mm. City and county leaders are considering a proposal to build a $400 million facility in the future River District. Yeah, I've been out here. This place is going to be exquisite once it gets built. WCC Charlotte's Julia Coffin joining us live from that side in West Charlotte. Julia, this is yet another sports development that could massively not only grow the city, the county, but everyone is not just sold right now. Exactly, Colin. It is a huge opportunity for economic development in West Charlotte and the entire city. It's generating a lot of excitement, but it also has others feeling left behind. A proposal for more tennis courts and a professional tennis tournament in Charlotte has local players buzzing. It's long overdue, in my opinion. The 50 acre tennis and entertainment complex could bring multiple stadiums and more than 40 courts to the future River District in West Charlotte. The complex would operate year round and host concerts, festivals and a two week international tournament called the Western and Southern Open. I just think it's an amazing opportunity that uh, we should give full consideration. City and county leaders are on an accelerated timeline to consider the proposal so developers can build and host the tournament in 2026. But the speed of the West Charlotte project has people in East Charlotte frustrated as the Eastland Yards project lulls. It raises the question, was this deal of the accelerated time was the deal the accelerated timeline for this river district proposal did that play into um did, did that have an impact on the decision to extend the eastland yards process by three to four months with no firm date greg asciutto with charlotte east is a community partner involved in redeveloping the old eastland mall site an unclaimed part of the property has gotten a few bids from developers, but city leaders extended the deadline in hopes of getting more. Ashuto says the East Charlotte project keeps getting delayed. While he's happy for the River District, he's lost faith in leaders to prioritize his side of town. Because it's awesome. Like, it really should be a transformative space for, our, for the entire region. But at the same time, we've been promised in East Charlotte that same type of transformative space for 11 years since the city is on the property. So the developers behind the tennis complex, they said they did consider Eastland as a potential site, but it was just too small. So for this complex here in the River District, they're asking for about $130 million in public money and promised to invest hundreds of millions of dollars into the local economy. So far, it's unclear how or if at all people's taxes will be impacted. Live in West Charlotte, Julia Kaufman, WCNC Charlotte. I'm sure that will be the next discussion that people are talking about. Julia, thank you so much.